2019, November, Paper 3, Higher Tier. Question number one, expand and simplify x plus five in brackets times x minus nine. So I will use the method of F O I L. First, outer, inner, and last. First, outer, inner, and last. Four. So the first is x times x, which gives you x squared. Outer, x times nine, gives you minus nine x. Inner, five times x, it gives you five x. And last, five times minus nine, it gives you minus 45. Collect the like terms. Minus nine x plus five x, it gives you minus four x. So your answer is x squared minus four x minus 45. Question 1b, factorize fully 9x squared plus 6x. 9 can be written as 3 times 3, and x squared can be written as x times x. 6 can be written as 3 times 2, and 6x and times the x. To factorize, it means put in brackets. So factorize means put in brackets so what do we put outside the brackets that's what we want to find out so we look at the two terms the left term and the right term what do we see that is found in both of them three is found in both terms and also x so the three and the x go outside the bracket and what is left in the first term is 3x, and what's left in the second term is 2. So your answer is 3x bracket x plus 2. Question number 2. Use your calculator to work out 29 squared minus 4.6 divided by square root of 35 minus 1.9 cube. First of all, you write down all the figures on your calculator display when you done it. So what you want to do is to put that in your calculator and I've done it on the right hand side. You can look on the top right there, how you put it in the calculator. You will use that fraction button in your calculator like that. You put the numerator and then you will put the denominator. And to get the square root sign on the calculator, you have to press shift on the calculator to get that square root sign to put in the denominator. And when you do that, you will get the answer to be 157.668255. Okay, and part B, write your answer to part A correct to four significant figures. So you count the first four numbers and put a straight line. And the number after the, on the right side, six is bigger than five. So you change it to one and add it to the six on the left, six plus one becomes seven. So your answer is 157.7. Question number three. The scatter graph shows information about the marks a group of students got in a science test and a maths test. So the maths for the maths, maths test are on the y-axis and the science test on the x-axis. Jamie got a mark of 34 in the science test. Use the scatter graph, find an estimate for Jamie's marks in the maths test. To do this question, we need to draw a line of best fit. And the line of best fit, L-O-B-F, is drawn in blue there. And you can see the line separates the point. Half of the points are on one side and the other half on the other side. And that gives you the line of best fit. So if we have one, two, three, four, five, six points on the left side. One, two, three, four, five. So the line of best fit is almost perfectly in the middle of all those points. Now we want to work out an estimate for Jamie's marks in the maths test. So we draw a line from 34 straight up to where it meets the graph. 
and then draw the line to the y axis so if i zoom in you can see there we have 30 31 32 33 34 so we draw a line from 34 when it meets the blue line we will draw a line that will take us to the y axis and it will meet it at 40. so that gives us the mark for the match test is 40. question number four the table gives information about the times taken in seconds by 18 students to run a race Work out an estimate for the mean time. Give your answer correct to three significant figures. Because we are working out an estimate, we will choose one of the times. The times goes between five and 10 seconds, there's one. Between 10 and 20 seconds, there's two. 15 and 20 seconds, there's seven. 20 and 25 seconds, there's eight. So between five and 10 seconds, we have to choose one of the time. So the best way is to choose a time in the middle. And to choose a time in the middle, we would add five and 10 and divide it by two. So we will add five plus 10 divided by two, that'll give us 7.5. So for between five and 10 seconds, we choose 7.5. Between 10 and 15 seconds, we will add 10 plus 15 and divide by two, will get us 12.5. Between 15 and 20, we'll get 17.5. And between 20 and 25, we'll get 22.5. Now we would have the 7.5 seconds and the frequency is one. So we multiply 7.5 times one, 7.5. 12.5 times two, 25. 17.5 times seven, one, two, two point five. And 22.5 times eight, 180. We will find the total for that column on the right there. I've circled it. When you find the total, you add them all up. It gives you 335. And the total frequency is 18. So to find the mean, the way to remember it is the big number divided by the small number. Or you can say 335 divided by 18. In math symbol, you can write it as sum of fx divided by sum of f that's the formula for it that will give you the mean it's 18.61 recurring and the one the answer to three significant figure so you put a line after the six and the number on the right of that red line is one is smaller than five so you you round it to a zero so you get 18.6 question number five write 37 centimeters cube in millimeters cube so if you look at the what i've written there if giving you the formula for or the convention scale we have highlighted centimeters cube in yellow and millimeters cube in yellow so to change from centimeters cube to millimeters cube you multiply by 1000 so 37 times 1000 or gives you 37000 so to change from centimeters cube to millimeters cube, you multiply by 1,000. Question number six. Nima was driving to a hotel. He looked at his sat nav at 13.30. So time, 13.30, distance to destination, 65 miles. Nima arrived at the hotel at 14.48. Work out the average speed of the car from 1330 to 1448. You must show all your working. To work out the speed of a car, if you look on the right-hand side, I've put some formula for working out speed. We use the formula speed is distance divided by time. And you have to remember that for your exams. They don't, they don't give you this formula. So the way I remember it is I write speed as sausages, distance don't and time talk so sausages don't talk that's the way i remember it that's my own mnemonic you can make your own mnemonic or find a way to remember it and we want to find speed it's distance divided with cover s and it's d divided by t now we need to work out the time 
between 1448 and 1330, that means 248 and 1330, is 78 minutes. From 1.30 till 2 o'clock is 30 minutes. And from 2 o'clock to 2.48 is 48 minutes. So 30 plus 48, it gives you 78 minutes. 78 minutes, we want to change it to hours. 60 minutes is one hour. So 78 minutes would be 78 divided by 60. And that would give you 1.3 hours. Now we use the formula for speed, distance over time. The distance is 65 miles and the time, distance is 65 miles and the time is 1.3 hours. So 65 divided by 1.3 gives you 50 miles per hour. Very important, the answer wants you to put it in miles per hour. So that is why we had to change the time from minutes to hours. Question number seven. Write 32,460,000 in standard form. So to write it in standard form, you will move decimal place. You start from the end of the zero. You move it one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Put the decimal point in front of the first number. That will be 3.246 times 10 to the power of seven. Let me show you how I count it again. You start from the end. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So it's 3.246 times 10 to the power seven. Write 4.96 times 10 to the minus three as an ordinary number. To write it as an ordinary number, we have to count, it's 10 to the minus three. So we move the decimal place three places towards the left, one, two, three and under those arches we put a zero so it's 0 0.0496 let me count it again one two three put the decimal point there and you put a zero under the arches so it's 0 0.04 so it is 0 0.00496 0 0.00496. Asma was asked to compare the following two numbers. A, 6.212 times 10 to the 8, and B, 4.73 times 10 to the 9. She says 6.212 is bigger than 4.73, so A is bigger than B. Is asthma correct? You must give a reason for your answer. Asthma is wrong. The answer is no, she's not correct. B is bigger than the B is bigger as the power of 10 is bigger. The power of 10 for B is 10 to the 9. The power of 10 for A is 10 to the 8. So B is bigger. Or you can say she is incorrect as 10 to the 8 is smaller than 10 to the 9. So that's your complete answer for question seven. Part A, 3.26246 times 10 to the seven. Part B, 0 0.00496. And then part C, no, B is bigger as the power of 10 is bigger. 